What's up, everybody? Slapping Games here, and today we are playing Observer, Episode 2. Last time, we kind of got an introduction to the game, the world, and this time we get to find out what happened, hopefully find out, what happened to uh, our son in that room, whether he's the dead guy. Actually, I think he's not the dead guy. We get to find out what happened, and... I guess the first step in that would be finding the the girl that called as we were walking into the room with the initials H N. So let's let's just jump in. I forgot how loud that was. Okay, let's go. I need to concern. It's why is it so loud? This. Hey. Okay. Uh. Why is it all red and evil? And what's going on? What's going on? I don't. Am I going? Oh, I'm going to the room. I don't know where to go. are you doing inside bird bird get out of my face birds what are you doing inside what's going on come here god you're an ugly looking creature you know you're like a dove with no hair on its neck oh okay can we go back now what do we do you want to go back oh no this okay so this is where we came hi this is tom and irene <laughs> We hope you're having a positively peachy day. Oh, we sure do. Sadly, we're not in right now. <laughs> but you can leave your message after the beep, and we'll get back to you as soon as we're home. Yay! Oh, I mean, boop! <laughs> I guess that... So, so they have, like, phones on their doors. Okay, okay, it's locked. Phone! Oh. What? What do you want? Got a minute, sir. KPD. Oh, God! They're here! The cleaners are here! What? What? Calm down! I'm just a policeman. I'm also an observer. Okay, that, that looks ominous. All right, I'm gonna check down here first. I can't open that. But I'm gonna check. Birds! Get out of my way! I'm sick of your crap! Hey, you there. What? Come here, quick. All right. What do you want? What is it? What's what up with want? the lockdown? Is it the phage? Was there an outbreak? I'm talking about the nanophage. Uh, uh, let's not scare him. I don't Too know. Too early to tell. I'm looking into it right now. Looking into it? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> we might all be infected. You don't know that. You are just Best crazy. thing we can do is stay calm and... And let them come and slaughter us? I won't let them take me. I won't. Sir. Stop being so paranoid. I didn't say that there was an outbreak. I said that I didn't know. Okay. Oh. Oh! Oh, this is either a crime scene or somebody had one seriously morbid turd. Look at this. You missed and broke the sink. What? Is, what? Nobody goes to the bathroom? So they're like... What the heck, man? Clean up after yourselves. This is the KPD here. I want you to stop being so freaking disgusting. Talk KPD, I need to ask you some questions. Do you know what's going on? My hollow projection got cut off. I, I can't get a signal. 
The building is under lockdown. It's hollow. No projection. external connection. Not much we can do. I guess that's like TV. Shit. Maybe. Sounds serious. So, uh, you wanted to ask me something? Um. Do you know who lives in apartment seven? Seven? I didn't even know anyone lived there. Uh, hey, you wouldn't happen to know when they're gonna fix the connection. Not that it's like super important to me or anything. I just need to know. You sound like an addict, dude. Relax. Um... You just take it easy. I'm sure someone is already working on it. Oh, good. It's just that it feels weird to just sit here alone with my thoughts. You know, <laughs> can you talk to me some more? It makes it kind of easier. Uh... You've been living here long? Oh, well, I, uh, uh... It must have been at least seven or eight years. Jeez. Ever had a lockdown before? Um, I don't think so. I don't remember my projector going off. Ever. Alright, whatever. Sorry, I don't have time yeah, for this. Yeah, we don't have time for this. Oh, okay. Uh, I understand. <laughs> it's no problem. Oh, okay. I'll just sit here, alone. God, I'm really starting to sweat like a pig. <laughs> Hang in there. Jesus. You, sir, have a problem. What is? Okay, so this is at least a usable toilet. Not much better. Like what? What happened to the urinal? Nobody knows how to use the bathroom anymore. This might be the future, but jeez. Uh, well, at least the toilet seems to be in operation. Although it has oh, it has a flush handle on the right side. Okay, bird, get out of my way. Let's talk to this person. Okay, nobody there. KPD, I need to talk to you. Get away from me, man. I got a piece on me, and I ain't afraid to use Shut it. Shut up. No, you don't. <laughs> now, calm down. I'm just looking for some answers. Oh, I know how you get your answers. I got nothing to tell you. I'm the freaking police. Relax. I'm a... Jesus. Okay, well, nobody trusts me. Nobody wants to help me, so I'm just gonna... Go through this. Why are there holes in the wall? Like, did somebody just run through? Like, this is what it looks like. It's like Hulk ran through here. Hey, PD, I need to talk to you. You broke it. No, you broke it. Nuh uh. Will you get these kids to shut up? I'm fucking talking here. Yeah, what's this about? Uh, do you know anything about the tenant do you number know seven? The tenant in apartment seven. Snitch. I thought I told you to shut up! Wow. Seven, huh? Nah. Can't say that I know the guy. Okay, so it's a guy. Yeah, well, seen him once or twice. I might have a vague recollection. Could you give me a vague description? <laughs> Maybe. What's it to you? I'm a fucking cop. That's what it's to me. He doesn't need to know that. He doesn't even like kids. Police, Police business. business. Just, just tell me. Just answer the question, and I'll get out of your face. So that's how it's gonna be, huh? Yes, that's Why how it's gonna be. Why don't you knock on I'm that door and see for yourself? All right. Yeah. Okay. That's Can how. Can you it's... describe him or not? I don't have time for games. All right. All right. Younger fellow, probably in his twenties. There. Well, it wasn't hard. Anything else? Nah, I never really got a good look at him. Medium height, medium built. He was just kind of there, you know? Have you seen anything suspicious around the building? Any strangers skulking around? Nah, I don't pay much attention to the other tenants. Bunch of losers. A lot of them. You're so dumb. Not as dumb as you are. Nuh uh, you're way dumber. Shut <laughs> the fuck up! <laughs> not upstanding citizens like you. I you love that I'm a smartass, ass. too. That's good, good thing we'll be getting out of this dump soon. Is that right? Yep, I've been working my way up. I even filed for a status upgrade. Once that goes through, we'll be moving to a B-class district in no time. Yeah, good luck with that. 
Alright, well that guy's an asshole, but that's fine. Okay, nobody's there. Is there anything to open in here? What is date? Nanophage and I. Eustachy Sosna. Sinaziel 400. I don't. Can I? Okay, I guess I just put it down. Alright, um. Through the hole in the wall! That's so cool. Uh, more doors to talk to. Okay, nobody's there. Oh, nobody's there. Let me in! Synchrozine collected. Okay. Do I... Oh, got a thing to... I haven't seen any other numbers that I know of, but I guess... I will hack it then. Okay, zero. Four. Oh, it's... Was it going to find them all? Oh! I guess my son's room was just way better encrypted or something. Did it say a strength on it or? I don't even notice. I need to look for that next time. Oh. Fuck. Did you just slam your door on me? Asshole. That scared me. Nobody is here. Was that? <sighs> Why am I so on edge? God, that just that that scared me as bad as the freaking knock on the door. What was that? Was it like a little a robot? This. Oh, it's just opening the door. Okay. Nothing was there. Sir or madam? Nobody. Sir or madam, police! Come to the door, Ooh, please. There we go. Just want to talk. Who are you? Did Chiron send you? No. I'm with the KPD, if that's there. what you're asking. Seriously? We haven't had a cop around these parts in... Never, I guess. Well, you've got one now. Yeah, must good luck. Be like... You're gonna fucking need it. Case log updated. Uh, okay. I don't know. Alright, um, okay, well. Alright, so I got two ways to go. Just go this way. Hold on. Uh, what? What? Hello? Oh, it's a little car. Or it's a little car. I thought it was a little, like, robot. Got a little batteries, a little microchip. Cool. So the door is unlocked. Well, I guess we just go in. Police! I have a warrant! I guess I can just come in if you're not going to stop me. Anything. Uh, is there anything around here where it's. Oh, there we go. The computer. Oh, it's just. It's a computer. Mails. Voices from below. Don't believe their lies. The plague is still out there. Fellow undesirables, if you're up to date with Chiron propaganda, you probably heard our so-called Minister of Health spout out another gem of corporate wisdom. For those of you who didn't, let me catch you up to speed. To all those who have given in to insurgent fear-mongering, I say again, there is absolutely no need for concern. The nanophage is no longer a threat. We have contained the glitch and thus freed ourselves from the disease. 
Loyal citizens who support responsible augmentation have nothing to be afraid of. Three words. Bull. Fucking. Shit. Let me tell you how things really are. Unless you're one of the lucky Class A fucks with a shiny set of mods, in which case you're probably not reading this, the nanophage is still very real. We've had at least three confirmed cases in the past year, one of which led to a small-scale outbreak. Luckily, we managed to contain it before it spread beyond control. Now, you might think three cases ain't nothing to get excited about. If so, I can tell you, I can tell you've never been in the outbreak. For most of us cooped up in Class C districts, even a single instance is one too many. True. Okay, so what the hell are you supposed to do? First and foremost, it's better to prevent than cure. Given the phage recovery rate, these words should be considered gospel. Once the plague hits, it's usually too late. So, if you want to stay safe, look for these symptoms. Fever. Pay attention to even the slightest bumps in body temperature. The phage starts off slow, barely more noticeable than the flu. So if you're feeling a bit under the weather, get your ass to a local clinic and run a scan. Better safe than sorry. Implant irregularities. This is where it gets tricky. Assuming that, like most of us, you can't afford to run regular mod maintenance, you've probably gotten used to the odd jolt of your neural implant or a slight spasm in your artificial arm. However, if these start to occur at an increased rate, you need to check yourself. Erratic behavior. Every once in a while, try to look away from the projector and take a gander at your neighbors. If any of them are acting weirder than usual, babbling to themselves, walking crooked, there might be, s walking crooked, there might be something afoot. Assuming they're not drunk or high. A bit of civic awareness won't kill you. A lack of it might. Juncture inflammation. Okay, so the skin at the base of your implant turns red and starts to itch. The bad news is, you might be infected. The good news is, it's not a death sentence. Our clinics have performed numerous extraction surgeries, and unlike the corporate cleaners, most of our patients tend to leave the operation room alive. As long as there are no nated nanite punctures, it's still not too late. If there are, you're most likely too, too busy hallucinating and puking blood to notice. If you spot any of these symptoms in yourself or anyone in your neighborhood, contact one of our clinics. If you don't know, know how to find us, ask around. We got eyes and ears all over sea districts, so chances are we'll find you. 1. Don't panic. Chances are it's still not the phage. We've had dozens of false reports on alleged outbreaks that turned out to be a nasty case of pigeon flu or not implant gone haywire. No surprise since pigeons are fucking everywhere. Don't be an idiot. In the last couple of months, we've had dozens of incidents of violence aimed at suspected carriers. Guess what? It doesn't solve anything. Once the disease takes root, we're all in this together. Do not report it. I can't stress this enough. The cleaners are not your friends. They're not coming to help you. Best case scenario, they'll lock down the entire building and go through it with a fine-tooth comb, using the outbreak as an excuse to confiscate subversive materials and detain any undesirables. Worst case scenario, the ones they don't slaughter outright will end up as guinea pigs for Chiron R&D. If it comes to that, do yourself a favor and pack it in. Jump out a window, blow your brains out, doesn't matter how, just make it last. You won't thank me later, but you'll regret it otherwise. Jeez. What? 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 A little mini game. beat the two levels all right well that was that was cool um anything to open there's a door can't Run. remove what's that say remove your implant fuck what what Like somebody's, um, somebody uh, committed suicide in there. Did I miss? 
did, did I miss something or oh, I did miss something undelivered mail notification my dear Annie by the time you read this I will no longer be among the living okay so it's his suicide note details are not important just know that I went out on my own terms I won't ask for a proper burial God knows you don't owe me anything and by the time the cleaners are done with the place I doubt there will be anything left of me to bury just know that for all of my faults I have always loved you just like I loved your mother when the disease took her a part of me died that day simple displays of affection became a foreign concept a painful reminder of what I had lost it does not justify what I've put you through but it is the truth birds stop it I'm so happy you've managed to get out of this hellhole and find someone worthy of your love. I wish you both all the best. Love that. Well. Fuck. Okay. Everything's getting, like, all fizzy. Like, do I need to take medications? I'm alright. I'm relatively alright, anyway. Okay. Hmm. Janitor left the door open. Is that the guy from before? Janitor! Are you here? Locker doors. I can't see anything. Ooh, what that? What that? Synchrozine. Refill. Oh, Synchrozine. Synchrozine. Okay. Anything in here worth scanning? Oh, there's a computer. So we'll just go with uh, here. Okay. Computadora. Dear Mr. Jerkowski, Jerkowski, whatever. While we, while we all greatly appreciate your exemplary service and the sacrifices you have made for your country, the VRI policy enforces a strictly proactive stance on helping our brave veterans reintegrate with society. Regular coverage requires a deed of permanent B-class employment presented to our representative on an annual basis. Your current janitorial position simply does not qualify. Jeez. What if they're not capable of anything else? Given these circumstances, we must sadly deny your claim and are therefore forced to terminate your participation in the program effective immediately. God. As of today, the Veteran Pension Fund will no longer cover periodic maintenance of your cybernetic prostheses. We wish you all the best. The Veteran Rehabilitation Initiative. Oh, jeez. This is an automated message. Please do not reply. Enough is enough. All right. This has gone, long, gone on long enough. Veteran or not, I don't give a crap anymore. One more message, and I'll find you and beat the fucking junk out of you. My mother can no longer take this shit. She's sick of telling you over and over that her husband, my father, died 18 years ago. She's moved on. We all have. No one wants to live in the past to constantly relive a tragedy. So, for the last time, Mike Jaworski is dead. He's been dead for a long time. Have someone type that into that busted-ass head of yours. I don't care how you do it, just fucking remember this time, even if it's a toss-up between this and remembering when to take a dump, because the next time you send her will earn you a broken fucking jaw. Consider this your final warning. Wow. Okay. The wall stands tall. Our brave boys and girls continue to defend us from the eastern hordes. So this is something from the war. A shot rings out in the dark. Michael, the young soldier next to me, immediately turns towards the wall. The intensity of his gaze sends chills down my spine. Without a second thought, he runs up to the wall, an, an imposing colossus of concrete and steel. He mounts it in a single leap, using his state-of-the-art leg augmentations. Oh, cool. A little gift bestowed upon our troops by the Chiron R&D department. The scout aims his rifle into the inky blackness. His cybernetic eyes scour the horizon for any signs of the enemy. Stern and resolute, his comrades hold their breath, waiting for him to say the word. What will it be this time? A sole scavenger or a full-on assault from one of the numerous raiding parties that scour this unholy land? When he finally speaks, I cannot help but shudder from the sheer intensity of what is transpiring. All quiet. All quiet on the eastern front, at least for now. Guarding the wall can be a daunting task, Michael confesses the following morning, but it's also a privilege. The other soldiers gathered in the canteen and nod their heads in approval. Michael introduces me to his squad members, some of which are on their second or third tour of duty. Several firm handshakes later, the soldiers regale, regale, wow, regale me with stories of their service. 
each one more breathtaking than the last. When I ask what drives them to such acts of heroism, Mike lowers his head and responds in a slightly embarrassed tone of voice. I don't think anyone here considers themselves a hero. I know I don't. The way we look at it, we are all part of something much greater than ourselves, something that began with our fathers fighting in the big one. Ah yes, the big one. Such an unassuming name for the greatest conflict of our times. One we all know is the Great Decimation, a name given not to belittle, but to simplify. A desperate attempt to make sense of this unprecedented tragedy, during which many of our nation's finest gave all there was to give in defense of our way of life, nay, our very existence. From the barbaric hordes of the East, and yet, out of this cauldron of conflict, this baptism of fire, We've emerged victorious, and while the old world was engulfed in flame, in its ashes we have built our great republic. To all the heroes that gave their lives and health in the great decimation, we salute you. While the soldiers' dedication is undeniable, their service is made much more bearable due to contribu contributions from the Board of Defense and Chiron's top scientists. Michael is quick to agree. If it wasn't for the corporate government, some of us would not have made it this long. Take these babies, for example, he says, while affectionately patting his glistening leg prosthetics. Without them, I would be a cripple, wasting away in some hospice, unable to serve my fellow citizens. Thanks to Chiron, I can fulfill my role in our great society, spoken like a true patriot. And let us not forget that Chiron takes care of our brave men and women on and off the field of battle. Our ongoing veteran rehabilitation initiative ensures that soldiers who are no longer able to serve can reintegrate integrate into society so they can lead rich and fulfilling lives once their glory days are behind them. Holy propaganda. Prop a ganda. Oh, this is the... Of oh. course. Two agents. Helena Novak, apartment 104. And Hannah Nader, apartment 106. 104 and 106. Both on the same floor. I mean, in all these other ones, there happens to not be a single HN. Wow. Cool. Alright. Oh, do I get more levels this time? Oh, level three. to check the tenant register. God. Authorized personnel only. I'm authorized. Well, I'm, I'm a cop. And the door was open. Authorized I don't know if I'm personnel only. I know that you have wonky stuff in your head now because the VI, VRI or whatever won't take Caution. care of you. Relax. Low synchronization. Administer synchrozine. Police I business. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what you are. Oh, yeah? Back during war, took one alive, sent for one. Now, few you to get into his head. I already know you fought the war. If you're worried I'm gonna snap, don't be. They don't even let us carry guns anymore. As I thought, <laughs> I won't get a gun this game. Not worried. Bust, glory. Bust. Most things. So twitchy. Okay, I guess you I fought in the big one. Is that why you got all this junk in you? Plasma sweep. Hit our convoy. Barreled through armor. 
Sorry, I didn't mean to bring back memories. Yes. Memories. Yes. Um. What can you tell me about the tenant in apartment seven? Tenant? Yes, tenant. Yeah, tenant. How long has he been living there? Yeah, maybe longer. Not good with time. I need to take you my meds. You ever talk to him? Didn't get out much. None of them do. All right, Tin Man. Let me know if it comes back to you. Uh, Something why triggered are we in this the lockdown. lockdown. Caution. Mm -hmm. Low synchronization. Trying Administer synchrozine. I know. Rudy. And I. Rudy, is you that think the robot? It might be the nanophage. You had any recent outbreaks? No. Last one. Long time ago. Down by the river. All the, the implants. What's wrong with Bad. The implants. Uh, I guess is he's I mean he's he's not getting any maintenance. And they're not taking care of him. Oh, Take Rudy. it, Rudy's the robot. Yeah. Multifunction service and maintenance. Drone, don't lose it. Don't lose it. What? Mm, wonders of sometimes. I uh, need to track manually. Is there a way out? Can we lift the lockdown from the inside somehow? Or get a message out? No. Keep people in. Isolate. Accommodate. Alleviate. Yeah, we all know how that last one used to work. I need right. to get going, man. I need I'm to take my up. meds. Can you give me full access to the building? Uh-huh. Uh, assistance. Unstable. Unlocked. What I could. Thanks. You better stay here. There might be some very nasty people out there. How did all the nasty. doors are unlocked? Uh, huh. Bad. <laughs> yes, Look, that's what nasty just means. Stay safe. You know what? I never this got your name. Insane. I'm Dan. Huh? Name? Janice. Warning. Desynchronization Lega. imminent. Administer medication. Roman God. <laughs> you know. Sorry I gave you a hard time earlier. Good to meet you. Janus. I need to take my medication. Yes. <laughs> Synchrosine injected. Strain level decreased. Okay. So what's that bar look like now? Uh, so when this gets red, I guess that's what it is. It's hard to tell. Really. Okay, um... Can that door move? Door is moving. Why? All right. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, I um, there was a lot of just wandering around and reading and and stuff this time. So I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't a lot of excitement. I got jump scared two or three times by things that probably weren't even scary but they just surprised me and I wasn't expecting it because this game has lulled me into like this sense of security for some reason but also I'm sitting at the edge I know how layers of fear worked and I'm assuming it's going to be similar this time uh, but anyway um, yeah not a lot to say in summary uh, this time so that's going to be it for this epi episode. I hope you liked. If you did, go and leave a like and comment. And if you really like what I'm doing, go ahead and hit that sub button. Because it'll really help me a lot. Either way, you guys keep doing you, and I'll keep doing you. Later.